to virtual science teacher where the quantum mechanics will be discussed this course is for the basically undergraduate course so the term quantum mechanics appeared from quanta this is in plural form and in singular this is quantum meaning of quantum is tiny particle so from the term we can understand that quantum mechanics is used to study the behavior of tiny particles okay so to describe in nature in smallest scale we use quantum mechanics before going into quantum mechanics i am telling some story how it appears in physics very briefly it begins with different discoveries in the mid of 19th century blackwood radiation problem was appeared by karsop and the classical theory which was available at that time failed to explain this in 19 in 1877 boltzmann suggested that energy state of a physical system could be discrete again at 1887 henry hart discovered photoelectric effect classical theory which was available at that time again fall failed to this uh, explain this in that time classical theory means that light was assumed to be wave nature finally planck in 1900 discovered that light is made of individual quantum particles einstein explained theoretically the photoelectric effect by considering the light as particle later the name photon was introduced by gilbert dewey <coughs> so the light may be of two form one is wave na wave nature by which uh, interference diffraction and polarization will can be disc, uh, can be explained and other form of light is particle nature by which blackwood radiation problem photoelectric effect can be discussed i am not going into details of this ever mentioned phenomena because i know i think you already know this okay the broy was the first to inform that the particle can be treated as a wave also and its wavelength can be written as lambda equals to h by p where h is the planck constant and p is the <coughs> okay h is the planck constant and p is the momentum and uh, h planck constant that means uh, h equals to 6.6 into 10 to minus 34 in si unit okay so we can so easily how it appears actually according to einstein total energy e equals to m c square that means energy of a particle of mass m moving with velocity of light that means c and the energy in this case is e equals to m c square okay again for a wave moving with frequency nu the total energy can be written as e equals to h nu or h is the again planck constant nu is the frequency of the light and this can be written as h equals to c by lambda because we can write this from the relation between the frequency wavelength and the velocity and uh, i think you all know this that uh, velocity is um, equals to multiplied by the wavelength and uh, the frequency of light so we can write that this is 2 and by equating 1 and 2 we easily write down this equation okay so in quantum mechanics a particle can be described as a wave also and the wave must have a mathematical form to describe its properties and this is called wave function okay so wave function is a mathematical form of wave to describe its position and time and this is represented by by psi of psi x of t psi is the usual notation to use the wave function don't bother about the um, notation it may be you may use any other type of notation for this and x and t indicates the position and the time okay what is the significance of the wave function as we will so later that uh, wave function indicates the probability okay so actually if i uh, take the wave function multiplied by its um, complex conjugate and this will give the probability density i will discuss it later uh, after two or three class so don't worry about this just so, uh, so and here this just remember this that this a uh, wave function is a important part of quantum mechanics okay and the if we integrate in the probability density we will get the total probability of finding this okay 
now forget about particle or wave hope you know about the probability we have to know the basic calculus basic probability to study the quantum mechanics as you, this is based on the mathematics so let's recapitulate about probability what do you mean by probability probability is the number of favorable event divided by total number of event i think you all know this famous equation okay so don't i am not i am just recapitulating it not going to details so actually let's do some example suppose i have a coin this is a unbiased coin so it has two side one is head and one is tail now i am going to toss it for three times okay and uh, so i want to and want to find out the calc uh, find out the probability of finding exactly one head so what is the probability of finding the, this exactly one head so let's see first uh, what are the actual events that means what are the outcomes of after throwing this coin three times so actually uh, one coin may be two possibilities so after th uh, throwing this coin three times the total possibility is 2 to the power 3 equals to 8 as one is independent of other so let's check how the outcomes are so one may be get three times of head both three times head it may appear first two times head second third time tail maybe first time head second time tail again third time head maybe first time tail and the rest are head again maybe first time tail second time head third time tail maybe first time tail second time tail third time head again it may be that first time head or rest two times are tail and finally maybe three times of head so total eight number of possibilities can occur so out of these possibilities only this one this one and this one in these three cases only there are one head and others are tail so the probability of finding head exactly one after throwing this coin three times this is equals to three by two this is a basic and most simple example i think you all know this about probability and deal with probability already and even in real life you also have some experience of doing some probability now i am telling about some systems okay basically there are two types of systems one is discrete type of system by which uh, in this case uh, the total number of um, states can be counted <coughs> and other may be other may be um, continuous system so for discrete system the probability can be finding can be founded by above mentioned method that means the probability of a countable state is equals to the number of favorable event divided by total number of event but in continuous systems what happens let's check it actually uh, one <coughs> suppose we have a this is x axis and this is x equals to 0 we have a part this is positive x this is negative x we have a particle at x equals to 0 and uh, the particle is moving along x axis it may be either positive x axis or maybe negative x axis so this is uh, this is and the position is dependent on x so in this case this is continuous system that means uh, if x change the total system will be changed the position change and in this case we cannot find the probability by the above mentioned phenomena we have to use the probability density probability density is usually denoted by rho of x which indicates the probability at a certain position okay suppose uh, probability density probability density usually is constant and uh, suppose the pro so the probability of finding the particle at a at a distance at x for d for the smallest length dx this is probability equals to probability p equals to rho of a into dx at the position x so to find the total probability that means if we want to calculate the total probability in between a and b okay i want to find the total probability in between a and b this is equals to in a to integrate a to b integration over a to b and rho of x dx okay 
row of x dx into the power a to b. So, as you know, the total probability is 1, that means the p of i equals to 1. So, for continuous type of system, for continuous system, the total probability will, um, total uh, things may be varied from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, minus infinity to plus infinity rho of x dx, this is equals to 1. Now coming back to quantum mechanics, we can treat particles as discrete system and wave as continuous system. Wave function of a particle indicates all the information of it. Let us do with mathematics. So let us assume that psi xt, this is a wave function having the information about position and time and this can be written as a e to the power bx minus ct okay this is a wave function x is the position and d is the time and a b c are the constants wave function in quantum mechanics may be real or imaginary so don't bother about this if you may have the wave function like sorry, x t equals to a e to the power i this type that means this is an imaginary this is imaginary equation, this is real equation. So, do not bother about this. Now, question arises what is the significance of wave function? Actually, <coughs> psi xt multiplied by its complex conjugate, this will give gives us the probability or prob probability density. Or psi x psi star xt is the complex conjugate of the psi xt. Now, a wave function may contain some information having some constant in front of it and we have to normalize it that means we have to standardize it to find the value of the constant in front of it. Suppose in this wave function the constant is a and we want to find the value of a. So, for for the finding of a, we have to normalize the wave function that means standardize it. Now, what we know from the probability that is sum over of all probability this equals to 1, this is for uh, discrete system and for continuous system minus infinity to infinity rho of x dx equals to 1 and uh, rho of x we have I have told earlier that uh, rho of x can be written as psi x psi star x. So, from this from this equation and this equation I can write this that is minus infinity to infinity psi x psi star x dx equals to 1 and after doing the integration I can find the value of constant in front of the wave function that means after normalizing it. So, let us do an example to clarify this. Suppose psi x equals to a e to the power minus b x. This is a wave function having the information of position only. Now, I want to find uh, normalize the wave function to find the value of a. So, as psi x is a real now here. So, it is complex conjugate psi star x will also gives us a to the power minus b x. Now, I am putting the value of psi x and psi star x in this equation. So, what happens? Minus infinity to infinity a square a to the power minus 2 b x d x equals to 1. Okay. So, this will gives us a square 2 into 0 to infinity e to the power minus 2 b x d x equals to 1 because e to the power minus 2 b x is even function. So, now coming to the gamma function, we know that 0 to infinity e to the power minus a x x to the power n d x this gives us gamma n plus 1 by a to the power n plus 1. This is the basic form of gamma function and this is valid for n greater than 
zero. So this is this will gives us two into one by two b. Uh, here n is zero, gamma one equals to one. This will gives us one. So a equals to square root of b. So the value of a in this case is square root of b, and the normalized wave function psi x can be written as root of b e to the power minus b x. There is a lot of wave function, and you have to also standardize or normalize all the wave functions. So practice all other case also. Let's study about the <coughs> expectation value. What is expectation value? Actually, in mathematics or classical physics, you already deal with the mean or average of a set of data. Average is what is average actually? Average is the sum of the data divided by total number of data. That means, uh, suppose we want to calculate the average of a n number of data uh, denoted by x. That means there are we have a number of data set that is x1, x2, x3. Dot 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 dot. Mm, we have uh, different type of data up to x n in number of data. Okay, so in classical mechanics, classical physics, or in mathematics, the average average equals to suppose I am writing this as average. This is equals to sum of x i i equals to one to n. Divided by n, okay. This is n. <coughs> Similarly, in quantum mechanics, expectation value is nothing but the average, okay. <coughs> but the approach is sometimes more different because uh, in quantum mechanics we generally use continuous system. So in quantum mechanics, expectation value is the probabilistic expected value. The result of an experiment. So, let's see um, what is the uh, how we can approach the expectation value. Suppose we have a variable or observable a, and we want to find its expectation value. Uh, usually, expectation value is denoted by this average notation. Uh, so, if we have a wave function psi psi x t, and uh, we and we want to find the expectation value of a variable or uh, a this can be written as a average or a expectation value is by this equation this is the mathematical form of mathematical for form to derive the expectation value in quantum mechanics but the, the physical significance of the expectation value is same as mean or average okay integrating of our uh, psi star uh, a psi integrating over minus infinity to infinity ds divided by into psi psi star integrating over minus infinity to infinity so let's do some example to clarify the expectation value okay let's start with the same wave function that means psi of x equals to a e to the power minus b x square and we want to find out the expectation value of x square okay that means we have to find out the expectation value of x square for the this wave function so as psi of x is a real uh, real there is no imaginary part so psi star x equals to same as psi x now write down the form for the finding of the expectation value of x square i am doing nothing just put putting psi star and psi and a in the in this from this equation okay so this is not i'm just integrating it and putting the value of psi psi star and a i can get a square x square e to the power sorry e to the power minus 2 b 
this is x squared dx and this is minus infinity to infinity x square into the power minus 2b x square dx ok. So, in the next line we can easily write down that minus infinity to infinity x square e to the power minus 2 b x square dx divided by minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus 2 b x square dx ok. Now, as we told that gamma function from gamma function we can write that sorry minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus a x square x to the power n dx equals to comma n plus 1 by 2 by a to the power n plus 1 by 2. Now, in the numerator term, we have to just um, write <coughs> down uh, put the integration for the n equals to 2 and for denominator term, we have to put n equals to 0 and <coughs> after putting this what happens actually gamma 3 by 2 by 2 b to the power 3 by 2 divided by gamma half by 2 b to the power half ok after simplification we can get what is the value this is 1 by 4 b because if you do gamma 3 by 2 equals to half gamma half and gamma half gamma half will be cancelled out and 2 b to the power 1 half will be cancelled out so it will remains 1 by 4 b ok so expectation value of x square for the wave function e to the power minus b x square this is equals to 1 by 4 b ok. So, this is final outcomes. Now, uh, we want to discuss about the uncertainty. So, what is uncertainty? Uncertainty means the deviation that is how a data is deviated or spread from its mean or average. So, in a word, we can say that a measure of spread of result around the mean of A. Okay. So, how to find the uncertainty mathematically? To find the uncertainty of a function, I have to we have to first perform the mean or expectation value. So, I suppose I have uh, A is an operator and I want to find its expectation value, it will be gives us a of expectation value and um, if when we want to find the uncertainty of a that is delta a uncertainty is written by delta a ok. So, uncertainty our case is delta a delta a can be found by this equation ok this is a famous well known equation and from this equation we can find the value of delta a. For this finding delta a, we have to find first the expectation value of a square followed by expectation value of a. If we can find these two expectation value, we will done. And then simply uh, squ uh, square rooting this equation, we can find the value of expect uh, uncertainty of a. So, let us do some example. Suppose psi x is a wave function having form a e to the power minus b x square this a is constant and this a is general form of function or operator ok. So, this a and this a are not same. Well, by the way psi of x is this and I want to find the uncertainty of x that is our main job is to find delta x. So, for the finding of delta x I have to first write down x square expectation value minus x expectation value square. I can write this equation from this equation. So, I have to first find the expectation value of x square and x, then our job will be done. 
So what is the expression value of x square? This will give us minus infinity to infinity x square coming to the outside x square e to the power minus 2 b x square dx. Again, integration running from minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus 2 b x square dx. x square will be coming to the outside of the integration. This is nothing but just I have put the value of psi x, psi star x, where psi star x is same as psi x, psi, psi, psi x is real function and I have put the function x square and find, try to finding the expectation value. Now there is some interesting gamma, interesting properties of gamma function. So if there is an integration running from minus infinity to infinity and integration is a e to the power minus x square x to the power n ds like this this will gives us gamma n plus 1 by 2 by a to the power n plus 1 by 2 but there is some condition in this case the function must be even that is n must be even number okay and n is the n must be greater than 0 this is the basic condition for the gamma function and this integration will goes again 0 if the in function is an odd function that is n must be odd if function f of minus x is f of x this is even function function is called even and if this is minus x this is called odd function okay so i think you already know all this so I am putting n equals to 2 here in the numerator term and a equals to 2b. This will gives us gamma 3 by 2 by 2b to the power 3 by 2 divided by gamma half by 2b to the power half. Okay. Again there is some interesting properties of gamma function. Gamma n plus 1 this will gives us n gamma n this can be written as factorial n and another one is gamma half equals to root pi so gamma 3, three by 2 can be written as half gamma half and after performing this equation i can write this 1 by 2b that means 1 by 4b because 2b to the power half will be cancelled out and gamma half will be cancelled out now the term is to find the expectation value of x what is this integration running from minus infinity to infinity x e to the power minus 2 b x square dx divided by integration running from minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus 2 b x square dx this is this is square are just outside of the integration so i can simply cross here this will gives us 0 because the function in the numerator term is an odd function and x to the power 1, 1 is odd number. So expectation value of x is 0 here. So what is the uh, uncertainty of x that is delta x equals to square root of expectation value of x square minus x square. I am putting the value of x, expectation value of x square that is 1 by 4 b and expectation value of x this is 0 x square this is 0. So this will gives us 1 by 4 b. So I can write this 1 by 2 root of b. So the uncertainty of x that is delta x for the wave function psi of x is psi of x equals to a to the power minus bx square is delta x equals to 1 by 2 root b. Please subscribe our channel for further updates and comment in the comment box and also for further query please mail us at varsitech at gmail.com. Thank you.